Hi, Story Wilson with RSWSolutions.com. This is a 2012 full-size L322 chassis Range Rover. And we're going to talk about the Ford 5-liter engine that's in this vehicle. And it's also shared in the LR4 and Range Rover Sport from 2010 to 2012. Now, there's a really disturbing thing that happens with this engine. It's common to all these Ford 5-liter engines in those ranges. There's actually a technical service bulletin put out by Land Rover on this issue. And there are VIN ranges here that you can refer to when you go to perhaps inspect your vehicle or maybe go buy a used vehicle. You need to be aware of this problem. So what we're talking about here are the timing chain guides. The timing chain guides in this engine suffer premature wear. And that introduces some slop some play in the timing chain movement on the front of this engine and this is a very serious problem that fortunately you can diagnose and we're going to go through some of the steps but it's described as a quote-unquote rattle or click noise may be heard from the front of the engine the noise may be more pronounced when the engine is at idle speed this is caused by the wear and the timing chain lever resulting in reduced tension of the timing chain so Needless to say, this is an extraordinarily expensive repair. To do this repair, which we will do on this vehicle in a later video, the, basically the whole front of the vehicle has to be disassembled. Front of the engine has to be disassembled, all the accessories off. The front timing chain covers have to come off, and then you get in and you replace the timing chains, uh, the timing chain guides. Now, there are also a few fault codes associated with this. But in general, it's described as a rattle or click. And if you hear a rattle or click on startup, that's a little bit normal. You're going to hear that the first half a second after startup. But it's, it's on idle. It's on when this vehicle is idling. You know, it's warm, it's cold, and it's idling. Three, four, five minutes in, you hear a rattle. It sounds kind of like a sewing machine. A clickety, 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 clickety sewing machine. And what's happening is the timing chains are actually moving around and slapping and they have play and wear inside the timing chain covers. Now, this fault can also go so far as to throw check engine lights. I have one on this vehicle. Just bought this car. I have one on this vehicle. And we'll go over that, how to diagnose the fault codes associated with this timing chain guide problem. So let's go ahead and uh, start her up and see if you can hear any rattling. So with this engine, we really don't have an audible timing chain problem. I am throwing fault codes which indicate that the timing control is deviating too far from normal. And that is another sign that the timing chains are basically loose or become out of tolerance. One trick I heard is you can open this briefly and it can make it worse. change in vacuum can make the timing chain problem oil pressure worse. Yep. So let's go next and read some of the fault codes associated with this timing guide problem. Okay, so let's further investigate this specific fault condition. So we know that all of these engines, all of these 5 liter manufactured in 2012 LR4 Range Rover Sport are going to have problems with the wear and start rattling. This rattle, it, it's, it's a random engine temperature, usually when cold. It can also depend on just the weight of the oil that's in the engine. And it can also depend on how the vehicle has just been driven through its life. This vehicle has about 80,000 miles on it. Normally you're going to see the timing chain start to make noise around 50 to 60. And again, it's not all the time. It maybe it's maybe it's one day it's just terrible, and the next day that the sound disappears. So why do you care, right? Why do you care if this is something going on inside your engine? It makes noise every now and then. Well, eventually it's going to progress so that the noise is all the time. And eventually, what's going to happen is that you are going to start throwing fault codes and get reduced engine performance. Maybe a few other things might start happening too. But with this car. 
I get the noise every now and then. Uh, it's not all the time. But what's most concerning is this fault. So we're using the 4D CAN tool developed by myself at RSW Solutions. And I've expanded the tool to function with 2010 onward vehicle systems. We're going to open the 5 liter petrol system and we're going to st try to establish communications with the engine management computer. We're going to read the faults and here's the problem. This first fault is the biggest problem that we have to solve. The fault reads crankshaft position, camshaft position correlation fault, bank 2 sensor A, an incorrect cam relationship. So this problem is basically saying whenever you have a correlation fault, that's a pretty serious issue. The vehicle is unable to reconcile the timing that it's trying to dial in versus the actual timing that's being returned. So there's a lot of slop. There's so much play in the timing chain guides. It's influencing how many degrees of timing that the engine's having to put in to correct for that slop. And it throws a fault. Um, this is going to require repair. And actually, the, the repair has gotten more expensive because not only is it just going to be a repair on the timing chain guides, it's also going to be a repair where we have to reset or revalidate the timing the physical timing in the engine. We're going to have to double check that the timing chain hasn't skipped a tooth and then reset the timing on the actual relationship between the cam and the crank. Um, that's an extra something like eight hours of labor that I have to pay for. So hopefully this will help you be aware of the issue that all of these Ford 5 liter motors have and maybe we can begin to investigate some of the steps where you can use your own eyes and ears to diagnose the problem and also use the 4D CAN software tool to further diagnose the issue. Thanks for watching.